Hi you guys. It is February, full confession. I should have started making over pieces before this. We got back mid-January. I was gonna give myself a week and then start, but here we are. February, second week in February, and I'm just getting started. This week's piece is this. I put a poll on YouTube, you guys voted. I unfortunately can't do what you guys voted on. You guys voted that to change the hardware out. I am gonna be keeping the hardware on this one because a client who I didn't know was gonna be a client, somebody came to buy another piece and they took that piece, but they are also taking this piece. This is the top. <laughs> I anticipate this is probably gonna take me a week and a half to do. We're keeping the hardware right here and here. I'm taking this off and that one is already missing. So I'm going to fill in those two holes and we're just going to have pulls on the middle two panels, but the doors open up nicely anyway, just like that. So going to be putting the top back. I will tell you that story in a little bit and we're going to plug up those holes prepare it for painting, sand my life away on the bottom half so I can stain it and fix up some dings and nicks along the bottom as well. Got a lot to do, so let's get into it. These just were the screws that were in holding the top onto the top and I'm going to remove those. Oh, I need my other one. Hold on Nelly. Massive thank you to my channel members. Thank you so much you guys. I appreciate it. If anyone else is curious about memberships, the join button's below and it takes you to a little video and lets you know what is involved with memberships. What I've done now is plugged up the holes where the screws ripped out. I have cut out the same shape as the board that was there before. What I need to do now is to put pocket holes there so I can screw up into the top and I'll be gluing and, well gluing, gluing and clamping. I don't think I'm going to be nailing, but that's what I'm going to do. I shaped this off camera because it was a lot of fiddle fiddling around but I just so happened to have a piece of wood exactly the same width that I needed I just cut it down in length and then I shaped out the sides so it slid down into there uh, yeah I'm gonna do that now yeah I'm just gonna do that now <laughs> okay this piece the story is I got this from a subscriber she reached out to me, she said she's in the Nashville area as well. Would I be interested in getting a, purchasing a piece off of her? She got this guy from Goodwill and as the Goodwill people slid it into her car, it caught on the back of her car and the top ripped off completely. <laughs> she was horrified as I would have been. I would have been so cranky if I was her. <laughs> It sat for a little while in her garage and she felt like she uh, saw my videos and felt like she wanted to reach out to me and see if I wanted to do something with it. So that is the story of this piece. There's always a story. I 
forgot to do that. Oh, gee whiz. Where is my brain? Oi, oi, oi. Okay, top is secured, not going anywhere for anyone. I need to now remove these. That one fell off. It's somewhere. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm plugging up the outside holes because the client doesn't want, doesn't want the pulls on the outside. She just wants the two on the middle, which, you know, is a money saver because you're not having to buy new pulls. I know a lot of people are going to be upset, but what can I do? That one was missing. It's either you replace them all or, or you plug up the thing. They were my two options and the client picked what she wanted. She didn't want new hardware. She wanted to keep the old hardware. So, there you go. I have dowels from Walmart. If you've seen my uh, Ikea hack that I did with my nightstands, I did this exact same trick. It's not a trick. It's a trick of the trade. There you go. Sort of a trick. Oh, for Pete's sake. I don't know where anything is anymore. Um, found it. <laughs> looking for my pencil. That's where I'm going to chop that off and then I'm going to fill because it's, see how it's sunk in a little? I'm going to fill that with wood fill. It also doesn't help that I'm like working on another project. <laughs> if you follow me over on Facebook, click the link below so you can go over there and follow me on that as well or Instagram. I have mentioned and done a couple of lives about painting these guys. You may recognize them from another video I did. The person who ended up buying this MCM chest that I'm doing bought these as well and she wanted them to match. So I'm working two projects at the same time. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make it a little bigger than I marked because I can always sand it down. Be 
beautiful. Okay, using Minwax Wood Filler Sustainable. It is warmer outside than it is in my garage. Okay, what I have done, this has come off. It is the draw slide thing. I've got some new screws, I'm going to screw it in, and I'm also going to glue it. So I'm using Starbond. I am an affiliate partner with Starbond. Come on. There we go. Going to be using their thin CA glue. I have used them in the past. I really love their glue. I am going to glue down, right, this as well as screw it in. I sanded back the old glue that was on those and Jacqueline, thank you dear, got me this little because there's no way I'll be able to get oh, I pushed it no way I'd be able to get my drill down in there So that's that, all fixed, quick fix, super good, love the glue, you can go ahead and click the affiliate link below and you guys get discounts on the entire store through that affiliate link and code. Alright, you don't want to watch me do this, it's going to take me forever. Surf Prep Sander connected to my Walmart brand <laughs> vacuum. I don't know, it's a 3M mask. That's my setup. I, the reason I'm saying it, and for those of you who have like followed along with me for a long time, you're like, why is she saying it? <laughs> uh, I get questions. Even when I post it in the description, I still get questions about what it is that I'm using. So, there you go. Going to be sanding back to bare wood on the bottom and the bottom two drawers. I'm also going to be sanding back the three internal drawers because I'm going to be staining the bottom and painting the top. I do want to scuff sand the top, so I'm going to scuff sand the top with a 220, but everywhere else is getting back to bare wood and I'm doing that with 150.
right, I was supposed to have this ready for last week's ends video with me having to take Samuel to his college. It threw the timeline off for this and editing and uploading. Um, four videos a month seems like not much, but it's a lot. It really is a lot. <laughs> so I am going to possibly be doing just three videos a month. Nice. Okay, you guys, <laughs> it's done. Painted two and a half coats, right? Two full coats, and then I had to touch up in spots, but it's all dry. We've got the heat going because yesterday was so warm, and today we've dropped it was minus two Celsius this morning, and a little frozen rain slash snowflakes were falling from the sky. It's crazy. Anyway, normally I spray my top coat, but I'm not spraying because I'm using Annie Sloan, where are we? Lacquer in clear matte, and it's a thicker top coat, and I don't want to water it down because I don't know how it'll go. It's expensive, it's a small jar, I'm not going to. <laughs> take the chance. So I'm just going to put it on with a brush. Stir it around really well. Sometimes the stuff settles at the bottom of the can. The top is really textured. The whole painting, all the paint is really textured. So I'm not overly fussed on brush strokes. I'm just making sure that I get it all on there. Going in every which directions make sure it gets down into the texture I'm squished behind and I am using a pretty extra large I don't know it's an angled brush it's for stains and top coats so be good and I will be putting two coats on
that is the hardware before and after. All I did was clean it, boil it in some water, dish soap and a little bit of vinegar. So it's come up really good. Gilding brush. Sometimes when I haven't used it for a little while the bristles go all stiff so just dipping it in some mineral spirits. And mineral spirits in Australia, I discovered, I used to say it was, I forget now what I used to say it was, but it's terps. Mineral terps is mineral spirits. Here's a quick look at what it was like before. If you enjoyed this makeover, you might like this one, and I hope I see you on the next flip. Bye, you guys. Love ya.